G'day guys, I'm Biggest Kev, welcome to my channel and today I've received some mail, some mail from Shane, Shane lives in the Golden Triangle in Victoria, Australia and he's um, generously sent me some gold pay dirt, so I'll just move this around, I'll just show you this, I've already opened up the box and had a bit of a bow peep just show you what, what Shane has sent me. Oh, he's got a little letter in here. Shane's written. Hello, Biggest Kev. Here is your pay dirt from the Golden Triangle in Mooligal, Victoria. In this bag is some gold and some osmeridium. Os Osmeridium. I've never ever seen that stuff before. And other things. Enjoy, Kev. Shane. Thanks, Shane. You're a champion, mate. Okay. I'll just move you down a bit so you can see what's happening here. Now, let's see what Shane's sent me. There's a big bag here. Looks like, um, like river, river material, river sand. Okay, he's called it Kev's dirt. He's putting dirt on Kev. It's got another parcel in here. This must be the meridium. Osmeridium. He stuck it up really well with the sticky tape. Osmeridium. Okay, here we are. It's got two pieces of rock here. I hope you can. I'll just bring this out to the sun. It's a bit hard to see there. There it is. There's all. Um, you can see all little sparkly bits in there. It looks like mica. I'm guessing that's the osmeridium. I've heard of osmeridium, but I've never ever seen it before. But uh, yeah, maybe that's it. There's another rock here. Here's another stone that he's put in. Maybe the other stone was the osmeridium. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Shane. Cheers, mate. I appreciate it. Now, so what I'll do today, I'm going to put this material through a sieve. I'll sieve it out, and then I'll pan out all the fine material, and then I'll pan out the coarse material, see if there's any big chunky nuggets in it. Yeah. And uh, oh, also, um, I'd just like to say, um, congratulations to uh, Darren and Rodney. You guys um, both got yourself a, a West Australian Atlas. Yeah, and I'll be posting them out to you guys very soon. Uh, possibly uh, tomorrow, I think. Tomorrow I'll be going down to the post office and I'll post them out to you guys. So, Rodney and Darren, congratulations, boys. And uh, I'll probably... I'll, um, I'll give away a couple more a bit later on. Maybe in my next video. Yeah. Okay, um, that's it. I'll see you over at the panning station. Okay. So I've got the material here. I'm panning it out. He's, um, oh, look at this. He's put some things in there. That looks like a little thrippy. I don't know what that is. 
I don't know if that's a... That looks like a little... So there, there's your old mate. This one here... Looks like a little thrip, uh, threepence. Thrippy, as we used to call them. Little um, threepence Australian coin. I think that's what it is. Oh. <laughs> and a... That's an old pocket knife. Check it out, guys. That's an old pocket knife. Shane's put it in. He's obviously found it in the in the creek where he got the material, and he's thrown it in with the rest of the stuff. Good on you, Shane. Something else here. Oh. <laughs> it's a um. It's the end of a spoon or a fork. The handle. I saw something else flash then. Another trippy. Looks like another threepence. I think they're threepences. I don't know. Yeah. And, um, I don't know what that is. Looks like a seal, like one of those lead seals. Not a or or seal, but a seal that they used to seal bags or um, in the railways they used to they use these seals to seal the the door on the cargo um, carriages. There's another coin, Australian two cent piece. I'll take photo of all, of all this stuff, guys all the coins and stuff that, uh, there's another coin. Shane's gone crazy with sh with coins and stuff. Good on you, Shane. Shane, it, it makes it interesting, mate. There's another coin. I'm calling them coins, or I might be wrong. They look like coins. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I'll, uh, I'll sieve it all out and go through it, and then I'll just show you all the relics that Shane's given me. Okay, guys, I've separated all the um, all the relics. There's the relics, coins, and um, bits and pieces. I'll take photos. I'll clean them up better and take photos of them later. So that's all the relics. There's the coarse material which I'll pan out next. I'll do the fine material first. The fine material. And uh, I'd say this is going to have a lot of gold in it. Right here, I'll just set yous up over here, guys. And we will start panning. Okay. fine material from the golden triangle. Hello, what's this? Looks like a snake. Oh. Oh, it's a bit of aluminium wire. Okay. Material from the golden triangle. It's got to have gold in it. The, go the golden triangle if you know um, Victoria in, in Australia at all, you'll know that that's the prime location for gold nuggets, fine gold in creeks and rivers. It's, it's the place to be if you live in Victoria, the Golden Triangle. We'll see how much gold Shane sent me. I might be able to show you um, a golden smile, guys. It's been a long time since I've been able to do that. Bit of black sand in there. I've got to be careful.
I think that'll do. Right. I can see some gold in there, guys. I can see some fine gold. It's sticking on the bottom, on that bottom um, lip of the ridge of the pan. I'll just slowly work it back for you so you can see all the gold. I know there's going to be gold in it because it's gold pay dirt. See the gold guys? Can you see it now? In the top of the pan? A couple of bigger pieces in there and some fines. I'll do is I'll tidy it up a bit and I'll show you the gold and then we'll do the course okay guys there's the gold I hope you can see it I hope this is cameras doing it justice but right up the top of the pan up here you can see all you can see there's a couple of bigger pieces so there's a lot of fine gold so what I'll do is I'll snuffle it all up and then we'll get into panning out the coarse material see if I can get a couple of nuggets Okay, I snuffled up, snuffed up all the fine gold that was in that fine material, and now we'll pan out the coarse material and just see if there's any bigger pieces, big nuggets in here that Shane's given me. And don't be worried if I'm panning off this panning off this um, material a bit quick guys because I go back I'll do it again I'll do it a second sometimes a third time because I want to make sure that I get the whole lot I can see another coin in there another relic No, it's not. It's a flat stone. Oh no, it's a piece of metal. I think it's a button. See it? That's a button. And a bullet. Two bullets. Piece of lead. I'll just pick these out as I go. There, some 22 calibre bullets. So down there where the, there's still some more bullets in the pan, where that lead is, that's where all the heavies are going to be, down the bottom there in that bottom corner of the pan, that's where the gold's going to be. Okay, that'll do. Okay guys, I know there's some more bullets in the pan, let's see if we can get a big piece, of, oh, I can see a piece of gold, oh, I can see a couple of pieces of gold, okay, there's a, there's a buckshot, the Gadsies, Gadsies buckshot, I'll just pick these bullets out of here, some more Gadsies buckshot, Okay, so that big piece of gold up the back there of the pan, guys. And there's a smaller piece there as well. Those two, two fellas. Probably just about a pick up. I reckon I can just about pick that bigger piece up. Yeah, so, I hope you can see them. Just here. I'll take a photo of them anyway. I'll zoom in closer. And I've got enough there for another pan of this coarse material. I'll get back to you. Okay, guys. Pan number two and the last pan of Shane's material. This is the coarse, the coarse material. 
and the last pan and the last of it. Let's see if we can get another big piece. Another big piece to show you. This is good. It's been a while since I could show you some gold in the pan, guys, in my videos. Shane's been very generous and sent me some of his hard-earned gold that he's um, retrieved from a creek. I can see some bullets or a bullet in there. Bit of black sand. Okay, that'll do. Another bullet. Okay guys, let's have a look. Can I show you is another big piece of gold, another big big flake. There's another bullet. Another big flake. It'll be up there in that black sand if there's any more gold. Yep, there is, there's a piece of gold there. I can see it. Big piece too. See him? A big piece of gold and there's some fine stuff. Whoop, he's coming back. Coming down the pan with me. I can see some fine gold there too, guys. What I'll do, I'll zoom you in. See if I can zoom you in and show you. You see that gold, big piece of gold there, guys? I'll take photos. I'll empty out the snuffer bottle and I'll take photos and just show you the gold. Okay, here's the gold, guys. There it all is. I'll take a photo of it and I'll see you at the wrap up. Well, wasn't that cool? At least I got to show you guys some gold. Thank you very much, Shane. I appreciate you, man. Um, thank you very much for sending me the gold pay dirt. Um, unbelievable thank you I appreciate you guys sending me stuff whether it's rocks gold pay dirt whatever um, it gives me material as I said before material so I can produce these videos and show you guys um, all around the world what I'm up to what I'm doing and on that I'll just show you some rocks that I've got here I'm gonna I've cut some I'm gonna polish them up and I'm gonna send them off to Shane I'll just show you guys. I'll bring you out the light a bit so you can see. I'll wet them down because when you wet the rocks down, this is what they're going to look like once I've polished them. This here is a piece of green chrysoprase. What they call chrysoprase. Yeah, it's a um, it's a green crystal type um, rock and. That's the matrix rock that it's in. Yeah, and that's it. Chris Appraise, so I'm gonna polish that up and send it your way, Shane. Here's another rock. I hope you can see it. I'll put photos up anyway, guys. This here, if I move it around, you might be able to see the little flashes. This is a blue lapidolite. Blue lapidolite, yeah. Only found in only a few places in the world. This is this come from Kew. Um, sorry, not Kew, Yolgu in Western Australia. And there's only a few places on the planet where you can find this material in this colour. So a piece of that will be going to, to you. And also this one. A lot of you people will know what this is. This is called Tiger Eye. 
tiger eye. This can be found all over the world. Uh, this piece is from Western Australia in the Pilbara. Yeah, so I'll cut a piece of this and I'll polish it and I'll send it your way, Shane, with some other rocks, mate, in appreciation for what you've sent me. Okay, yeah, and um, that's about it guys, I'm expecting some more mail, um, maybe coming this week maybe, so I'll, uh, I'll do another video when the mail arrives, I'll do a video and post it up maybe next week, and um, yeah, just show you what somebody else has sent me, some more gold maybe. Okay guys, cheers, thank you very much Shane, appreciate it. beautiful another lovely day coming into it's, we're in spring now heading into summer okay guys stay safe out there take care be good and I'll catch us on the next one thanks again Shane champion okay okay guys let's see what the gold weighs 0.06 0.06